Well, I don't mean to be dramatic, but this video might be about one of the biggest disappointments of 2021. For those of you who don't know me, I'm a huge Clamp fan. And when I saw that we were getting a new Tokyo Babylon anime, I was super stoked. I was ready. My body was ready. I knew I was going to be in tears and I was going to be emotional, but I was ready. I was going to do weekly reviews on this freaking show. And then yesterday, I see the news. It's been canceled slash postponed due to copyright infringement and Gohan's basically being, I don't know, crazy, lazy, something. We only got two examples of this copyright infringement, and both of them were from the designs of the twins, the main characters of um, Tokyo Babylon. The first most blatantly obvious one was Subaru's religious outfit, and it is a carbon copy. You you really can't deny it. However, at the same time, I thought it was pretty traditional looking. So I didn't really think much of it. It is definitely different than the ones he wore in the manga and even in the previous anime. I don't know why they decided to copy this doll's look, but they did. The version they went with that copied the doll's look, it was way more... Different, honestly, than the look that he had as a robe in the original series, the manga, and the animes and stuff. This is the original robe example, you know, seated in both cosplay and in, you know, the anime look. It's one of his robes. They could have done a variation of this, and it would have looked fine. I don't see why they had to copy the doll's look. I don't understand it. I mean, it's not a bad look, the dolls look, but, I mean, shouldn't they have just been safer and just in a variation of this, you know? Like, I don't understand Gohams at all. And it just sucks because the overall design of Subaru is just so beautiful, so just angelic. I loved everything about him. I loved the um, animation. I loved the flow. I believe... I heard a little bit of the voice acting, which, thank God, the voice acting will not change. So, the next example is Super's twin sister with the one outfit example they gave. They copied a singer's look. Like, that is clearly the same outfit. Same belt, same top, everything, except different, I guess, socks, sort of. I, I don't understand. Why do you do this? Why go hands? Why did you copy this? Ugh. I mean, sure, she probably would have wore something like that. She was that type of person. But there are so many interesting, you know, outfits that she actually wore that you could, again, do a modern twist of. There is no reason for you to just blatantly copy an actual person again. Like, what did you think was going to happen? Of course they were going to, you know, threaten to sue. I mean, who knows what plagiarism attempt they did with Sishiro, man. My boy Sishiro, who looks so freaking handsome in this would-be remake. Oh, it's such a crime. With Gohan's officially being fired, this whole project is in limbo at the moment. They said they're looking for new people, a new production company, all that. That they're going to have to hire and everything will have to be reworked. The only thing they're really keeping, from what I can tell, is... Again, the voice actors, there might be a little bit more they're keeping, but I, I don't know. Ugh. The anime changed from April 2021 to 2021, maybe, question mark? Fingers crossed they can find a new company that will actually honor the source material, do a good job animating it, and, you know, bring it to its former glory and beyond that. But time will tell. Heck, they should get those people that animated freaking Clamp in Wonderland too. Look at this animation stills from that. They could they did a beautiful job and they didn't plagiarize other people's works to, you know, make it. So good job them. Ugh. I don't know. Tell me your guys' thoughts down below what you think of this whole hot mess. This I'd feel personally that this whole mess could have been avoided. And I feel like Gohan's had, like, 
one good project, in my opinion, and that was K Project. And everything after that was just meh. I, I, I didn't feel it. I didn't feel it. But I had hoped that they would have done a good job with Tokyo Babylon. But clearly, clearly my trust and Clamp's trust was all misplaced in Gohan's. I will be doubtful if they get any work anytime soon, to be real with you. They might be done for. So, you know. But, you know, you got to pay the consequences for plagiarism.